Dave Snyder here. It's the 18th of March, 2015. Just got a few things that I noticed today. Pretty interesting. Hope you find. Hope you think the same thing. Let me see. This is a weather pattern from obviously the Pacific, North Pacific over here off the west coast of America, North America. And uh, I got it overlaid right here where I always put it. You know, it, it just fits there. I'm sure the two areas apps they have to go together. But anyways, besides that point. What I noticed was this right here, being this, you know, I had, I brought up a picture of South America, and I was like, hmm, that looks the same, and this, I, I used this picture of South America, let me show you, I just brought it up, and it, and it, but I had to move it, once I seen this, I brought this up, and I was like, wow, that's, that's the same thing, this area of South America is the same as this strip right here, right? I mean, it's the same shape and everything. So what I did, you know, I didn't move this picture. This is set in place for a different thing. So I just up overlaid a new picture of South America right there. And I put it with this, like this, right here. See the curve? I lined up the curve. The curve is obviously there as well. See the curve? Okay, and then down here where you see this little line come off like a little hook, like a little barb hook right here would be this that you see coming up right here this little area here and it's the same thing it's so that weather is it, it ties these three areas together it ties this area where the weather is coming from somewhere up here in this area where the weather is coming from it it ties that area to this area down here where I have it overlaid right which is right here it ties that together with that and then South America together at the same time so it puts them all three together, but when you do that, you start bringing up other things, and it starts to get really interesting. Really, really interesting. Let me show you that. So you have this up here now, and where look where uh, Copernicus falls, right over Yellowstone, right over Yellowstone, right. Well, well, in the other picture, a little bit, a little better than this one, but it's right in that area, Yellowstone. First of all, and then I start bringing up like a. See if I fade that out a little bit, and then bring up Mare Oriental. That gets really interesting because if I take away this and just bring up this over the top like this, okay? I I showed this before in the past. You see this part of South America right here, this area, and and the Amazon how it all flows. If you if I move this picture right over here where this is, you see that pic that part of the Mare Oriental, it just shows the whole thing so beautifully. So I'm going to do it right now. We're going to move it real quick, and I'm going to let it snap back on its own. I'm not going to save it here. I'm just going to show you that it goes right in there. Really good, right here. This part. See all this kind of fit in there. So it's hard to determine where it originates, but I got more. Hold on. Okay, so so this all fits in here really good. It's, it's right on the edge. You see the curve. It fits in place really good right there. Okay, so then I brought up a, another picture of weather. Let me just turn off Mo first. Okay, I brought this other picture absolutely perfect and this was just a couple weeks ago okay this picture right here shows the same thing I have it aligned to the same place on the ocean floor as you can see and I just brought this up these two weren't aligned together at all not at all I just brought this up and it, it was already aligned but check this out right here you see this this part of South America where this see how it goes out this way and this kind of goes out this way and there's a, it's the same thing that's the same area right there see that with this kind of ends right there kind of ends here and this goes out this way it's the same area as this right here you see in the weather and then you come up here and you see these islands those islands that are just off the coast of South America right here see the shape of it see it's like a like it comes to a point like an arrowhead kind of shape pointing that direction okay you see that that's in the weather too right there right there Boom. so it shows the whole like I say that the the weather shows the surface of the earth. I mean, that's all 
showing you the surface of the earth that weather pattern and it all comes from you know different places it, it ties these three areas together South America and New Zealand the area of, around New Zealand I don't know what they call that whole area but it's the South Pacific I guess puts that together and look where uh, Copernicus falls this is Copernicus print right here so I'm just calling it Copernicus I don't know what it's called in in South America so I'm just calling that Copernicus but it's right over Yellowstone now right over it right by it and you see the round shape here too in the weather sort of you see sort of see that round shape in the weather and you sort of see it's the same thing this used to be like a Yellowstone volcano right here wherever this is in South America that was a Yellowstone eruption or something right there, I think. See how everything else lines up really good. The curve right here is all there. It's the same thing. It's from the same area. So it just tie, I'm just showing that it ties all that together. Shows the impact of Mer Oriental right in the center really good. Which it also shows it in another place too. But so that gets a little confusing, but you know we'll figure that out as we go things moved and it just shows that South America was here or it was up there in the North Pacific wherever it was either here or it was down here or both you know it shows that they were, all three areas were together see the sweep that sweep that sweeps that way the same in South America same thing right here it sweeps this way there you see those islands there Okay, just want to point that out. Make of it what you will. I don't know what to make of it yet. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we'll make something out of it later. All right, have a good day. Good night.